Good morning, everybody. Um, good afternoon to some of you. Welcome to Haifa Academy. Haifa Academy is a platform where we are sharing knowledge for our most uh, professional teams uh, global, globally. My name is Gadi Shiftan. I'm Haifa CRF Marketing Manager. And today I will give you a webinar, a presentation actually, that uh, speaks about control release fertilizer solution for different segments in, in Haifa. So in this presentation, we will cover first what is control release fertilizer, some features and benefits, where we, we can uh, use control release fertilizer, then uh, also how to select the right product. Now, there we will uh, go deeper and deeper into Haifa segmentation, into Haifa uh, variety of products. And so we will discuss uh, multi-coat, multi-coat agri or multi-grow, cotton and cotton mix, um, multi-coat turf and multi-green. Just as long as you stay with me, we will cover this all uh, range for sure. We will also mention some uh, special product and we will then uh, summarize. Multicot, this is how it looks like. This is basically control release fertilizer. Um, the idea behind it is that we have, uh, in this case, it's, a, it's an NPK, but we have a granulation, uh, uh, granulated uh, fertilizer. It can be also prilled. And we covering, we coat it with a very thin layer of polymer. Now, the, the, the capsule sits in the soil and with the first uh, rain or irrigation, water uh, penetrates into the capsule and dissolving the nutrient inside. And then, the beginning the release, uh, the release uh, stage, uh, that the release is basically based on diffusion. It's very important for me to, uh, I think this is the, imp the important word for me in this uh, slide because uh, when we're talking about diffusion, basically the release rate is constant. Is constant, but it's the only thing that cha can change the release rate is temperature. When the temperature goes up, the release is faster, and when the temperature goes down, the release is slower. And this is, by the way, also uh, according to plant needs. So we have, I would say, the first point of efficiency already here. We will mention efficiency down the road again and again. It's important for me to emphasize that we, when we speak about longevity, we measure it in Haifa in by months and at 21 Celsius degrees, which is also 70 Fahrenheit. Uh, this is for the American uh, presentation this evening, actually. The idea behind the CRF in, uh, in the agricultural um, segment is to have constant uh, flow of nutrient uh, throughout the whole uh, crop cycle uh, used, uh, using a single application. So we have uh, this uh, illustration here and the basic information to, uh, important to understand that when we're talking about commodity fertilizer, let's speak about the UEA for now. A farmer applied at the beginning, and then uh, if this is the availability uh, graph, we can see that we have high availability at the beginning, and then the availability drop. Okay, so some of it is for plant consumption, uh, but a lot of it is uh, basically uh, because of uh, leaching um, uh, leached, uh, material to uh, da downwards to, to groundwater, but also evaporation of uh, nitrogen gases. And so because of all these losses, the avail availability dropped, and then there is a need for another application. And it, happen it can happen again and again. With CRF, the idea is to have single application that uh, supporting the whole crop cycle. Now, the crop cycle can be a few months for arable crops, but it can be also, for fruit trees, it will be one year. Okay, so it's very important for me to, to explain that we have the whole, um, the whole uh, solution. The inherent, uh, the inherent benefits of multicode is to have continuous and precise um, nutri uh, um, nutrient uh, flow uh, availability to have optimal plant nutrition, less fertilizer are needed. We save on labor and time. It's a simple application. And at the bottom line, it's an environmentally friendly solution. I'll, I will explain how, and we will get to this uh, a, a little bit later. So where can we use control release fertilizer. The actual question should be where we cannot use CRF and the answer is only in hydroponic systems. Other, other than that, we are in all this segment, uh, nurseries, vegetable, fruit trees, arable crops, forestry, turf, hobby, you name it. Um, and I'll be happy to get challenges from the audience uh, at, the, at the end of the slide for other uh, segment that we are not there. Our Haifa product line of uh, segmentation, so we have Multicot, this is the uh, line for nurseries and ornamental. Then we have Multicot Agri or Multigrow in some parts of the world for uh, agricultural application, vegetable, fruit trees, forestry. 
Multico Turf is for uh, golf courses, sport field, um, park, public, and also domestic use. And cotton or cotton mix, mainly for arable crops, uh, such as wheat, uh, rice, corn. So these are in gen this is in general the picture. Now we will go deeper into each segment. How to select uh, the right product? This is an important slide for me to explain. Because we have these three elements. One is the, the right composition, to have the right NPK. And this is our work to suit uh, uh, plant uh, nutrition, nutritional needs. Longevity is also very important, and uh, it's, uh, it's been affected by the expected temperature along, along the, the crop uh, cycle. And then also the coating percentage is important uh, to, to explain. This is something that we have, uh, we gather a lot of information in Haifa group, and we have uh, our, our people have the, the knowledge um, how to suit the right coating percentages. And it a little bit, might be a little bit difficult to understand this point, but I will explain a little bit uh, later what is coating percentages, but basically it is uh, affected by the soil type and climate condition, okay, of uh, part uh, expected participata participation, such as rain and so <clears throat> multi for, for a nursery. So this is the ID card that we will have for every uh, segment. So uh, we're talking about nurseries, ornamental and hobby market. We are talking about 100% coated material, which means it's very safe for use. The longevity normally is four months, six months, eight, 12, and up to 16 months. Again, we measure it in 21 Celsius degrees, and 16 months, it's actually meant to be 12 months in a tropical condition where the, when the temperature are very high. So we have solution until one, uh, uh, up to one year, basically. Okay, so the granular size is uh, two to four millimeters. Now, what important for the nursery grower is to have single application, to see even growth, to minimize mortality, and to see a faster development of the plant. Back to multicot product, if we have uh, this list of uh, different longevity, it's quite naturally uh, divided into short, I would say that a shorter range of release, four to six, is more for the pot plants, and uh, eight to 16, it's more for the, I would say even the professional uh, segment, trees and container grow nursery and so on. Um, so this is a, a very, uh, to, to simplify uh, uh, the, the, how, how we, uh, uh, what we sell well. We have a nice uh, case study from Israel in the olive nursery. Um, what we can see, what we used here was um, uh, multicot 17, 7, 14. It's enriched with magnesium and micronutrient. It's 100% coated, eight months of release. And what we measured here, uh, if we go uh, back to the slide where how to change the right product, I will emphasize on these uh, case studies uh, what we tested uh, well. Okay, so here we looked on the, on the right uh, NPK ratio, but also on the right application rate. So we applied 20 and 30 gram per plant. And this is uh, resembling 50 or 70% of the conventional application by the grower. Here, we don't have any uh, sophisticated graphs or a table to show you, but simple picture, it's a picture that uh, tell the whole story. So this is the farm practices, and this is multicot um, results. Uh, by the way, the model here is Yossi, is our agronomist in the southern part of Israel, our self representative, very professional uh, multicot guy. And I love to see him on pictures, but I, it's very nice not to see him here behind the dense vegetation. Um, so we had lower rates, we had larger plants. Look, it's, uh, the picture speaks for itself. I think it's very obvious to see. Multicot Agri, uh, multigrow uh, for agricultural uh, application. Um, I want to pause here on this picture. Uh, this picture comes from, the, from South Africa without any doubt. This is the way they're applying multicot agri for fruit trees. Um, so basically what is missing here is the last stage of covering the, the capsule. Okay, we don't, we don't leave it exposed to, to, the, to the atmosphere. Normally it should be covered with soil and then we have uh, more moisture around it. So uh, this picture was taken just to show the stages, but uh, we have another stage to cover this at the, at the end. Multicot agri, we're talking about partially coated uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, and or potassium. 
And this is, basically, this is how it looks like. This is a blend of coated and uncoated material. So the coated material is the brown, uh, brownish capsule, and the white is uncoated. It, this is a blend of uh, coated urea with uncoated urea. Okay. And uh, in terms of, uh, of our solution, in terms of uh, longevity, we have two, three, four, six, eight, 12, and again, 16 months of release. So we can cover lettuce and eucalyptus trees with different uh, uh, programs, okay? Uh, the granular size are a little bit bigger, two to five millimeters. Now, the challenge of uh, growing vegetable crops is that we have, by the way, any other crop, is that we have different, uh, that condition that we cannot control. Uh, we have the weather that we cannot control. We have the, uh, the rain that we cannot control, uh, the heat. Of course, this is all uh, regards to weather, but also other, other uh, issues. One thing we can control with multicode agri is the, is the application, is the, is the flow of nutrient, is the availability of nutrient at, this, at, a, at, a, at a root zone. Okay, so this is one thing we can do, uh, and we can do it the best way with the multicode technology. So we have some case study. This one is very nice from, from France, and it's nice and it's important for us to show it because the challenge there was to maximize nutrient use efficiency uh, because the fact that nitrogen application rate are restricted in some parts of France, in some parts of Europe, by the way, and in some parts of the global world. Today, we understand that the, the nitrogen, uh, the access of nitrogen application is very uh, harmful for the environment. I will get to this uh, a little bit deeper later. So the farmer practice uh, use granulated fertilizer with nitrification inhibitors. Nitrification inhibitors can be uh, nitrification or, or whereas inhibitors, all inhibitors are uh, interesting product, they are nice, they are part of a solution. They are part of a solution for nitrogen management, but they are not a complete solution. Uh, we will see in a minute uh, example for that, okay? But uh, basically this is important for me to explain. It can be part of solution, it can be also part of our blends, but it's not the full solution for nitrogen management in soil, in soil especially where we have uh, restriction uh, or, uh, or um, sensitive areas. The formula we used in this uh, trial was 14,621. This, this is the coating uh, ratio. So just for you to understand, 40% of the nitrogen was coated, 25% of the phosphorus, and the, and the potassium was not coated in this case. Let's see the results. So first we can see, please have a look on the, on the table. This, these are the formulas. Uh, Obviously, the multicode technology one is more expensive, but look, we had 20% less in the application rate, and this is due, due to the fact that uh, we know that the, efficient, the efficiency of multicode is much, much higher. So we had, I would say, quite similar nit nitrogen application, uh, much less phosphorus, and a little bit more potassium. You cannot blame Haifa member to having more potassium. We know something about potassium in this group. Now, if we look on the price, the cost per hectare, we came slightly expensive than the competitor or than the farmer practice, five euro per hectare. Let's look on the result. In terms of yield, we gain one ton more per hectare. In terms of revenue, we gained 2000 euro per hectare. So you can say that the farmer invested five euro and got in return 2,000 euro. These are the numbers we're talking about. This is the efficiency, and this is the clear, clear um, different differentiation between inhibitors and a real solution of CRF of multicode technology. <clears throat> For forestry, we have also solution. This is a sub, a very important sub segment of the multicode agri the forestry. Uh, basically, we, are, uh, we have in this, uh, simple application at the planting time, at the planting hole. It's saving labor, supporting even growth, enhancing establishment, and minimizing mortality. Now, you have to understand, for the, ter for the forestry grower, this is crucial issues, because the next time he will probably visit the plot will be one year after planting. And in this one year, if some dead if you have some, uh, some uh, mortality, some dead trees, you have to replace them. So you can replace them and they will grow, but they will never catch up with the rest of the forest. And this is actually losses for the grower. So 
to minimize mortality is a big thing. To have an establishment uh, that is better than, than, uh, than without the multicode, it's, it's another important thing. Our solution for, uh, for, the, for the forestry segment is, uh, is combined solution. It can be coated MPK, coated MEP, and I will pause here for a minute. Why coated MEP? Normally, uh, these types of, of crop, especially eucalyptus, growing on under acidic conditions, and acidic soil, and there the phosphorus is attached immediately to the soil particle. It's blocked by the soil uh, and basically uh, not available to the plant. Now, when we're applying multicot at the root zone, of course, at the planting hole, what we see is this picture. We see the roots actually um, coming and sucking the, the nutrient from the ground. Everything that is releasing is immediately being taken by the plant. It's uptake by the plant. And this is the picture that tells the story why we use MEP and why it's so important in these acidic soil conditions. Another, uh, another issue regarding to the acidic soils is the boron. Under these conditions, we often, often, often see uh, boron deficiencies and boron deficiencies <clears throat> can cause uh, two weak stems on the eucalyptus trees, but also that uh, in some cases, the leading branch uh, losing his, uh, I would say, uh, ability to lead. And then the, the whole tree is shaping as a bush rather than a tree. This is also a big thing for the grower. It's, it's losses for the grower and it's something that you would like to prevent. So boron application is needed, but with boron, as we all know, from one hand, we can have deficiencies. From the other hand, it's dangerous. We can, we can see a toxicity um, result. So multicode technology on boron provide this exactly narrow range for one year. We are sure to have safe supply of boron at the root zone without almost any, or I would say without any uh, toxicity um, uh, results. So this is, this is our solution, coated the NPK, coated MEP, coated boron. This is a combined solution that we use in forestry around the world. And this is a nice case study um, from uh, quite fresh, by the way, from, uh, <clears throat> from Ecuador. Uh, basically, the, the, the farmer applied there 90 gram of uh, DAP. And uh, the problem again is the same issue with uh, acidic soil that we see that uh, the, the phosphorus is not, is not helping much the plant because it's not really available. So what we apply there, it's a blend. Okay, it's a blend of uh, 11, 36, 11. And what we did, uh, we tested th two things actually. One is the application rate, okay, to uh, two, uh, different rates. And one thing was the longevity, what would be the best longevity solution for this type of crop. These are the results. Uh, measurement been taken four months into the season. After four months, these are the measurement. This is trunk diameter. This is the farmer practice. You can see that uh, basically we gain 30% more in trunk diameter only in uh, four months and in plant heights 35%. Uh, so you can see the huge advantages of having uh, coated the uh, phosphorus into the, uh, uh, to the, to the forestry, especially where we have acidic soils. We have continuous feeding and better development. Uh, just because uh, I, mentioned, I already mentioned the, the boron and talked, it, uh, talked about it a little bit, Many times we know that when we have boron deficiencies, it's coupling with, uh, with zinc as well. We have also zinc deficiencies. And so we have the coated boron, we talked about it, why it's necessary, but we have also uh, a relatively new product that will be soon available of coated zinc. So it can be a coupling, uh, a couple of, uh, of a solution by a couple of, of, of products uh, that comes together. Normally we see these deficiencies together as mentioned before. Junior, this is another sub-segment of the agri, very interesting for young fruit trees. Uh, I'm always uh, happy to, uh, to share this, uh, also, also this one, but in particular this one, because what we do there, um, the, the plants have better survival rates at, after transplanting. We see constant growth, and, and the big thing really is early fruit bearing. 
just to make sure, I'm not talking about one week before the convention, I'm talking about one year or two years before. And I will show you some, uh, some uh, case study, very interesting one from South Africa. So what we can see here, this is a citrus uh, plantation. And this picture has been taken 18 months after planting. Look at the difference between the conventional practice and multicot agri. The, the, the difference is huge, right? But the, even it makes, uh, it makes you say even uh, maybe wow, because what we saw here is that the, the harvest, the first harvest of multicot agri was the third year after planting. And for the conventional, it was at the fifth year after planting. You can see it also here on, uh, on this, uh, on this uh, graph uh, that the first year was actually of the conventional was actually the third year of multicot agri. So in total, we gained almost 100 ton per hectare more in the course of, let's say, five years. 100 ton for hectare more. This is, uh, this is really uh, uh, fantastic results. Another case study on avocado. Um, and here I would like to pause for a minute and explain something. You know what uh, that avocado is, is uh, basically a subtropical crop. And with this, uh, this kind of subtropical crop, even in, the, in our winter, which is the, it, it, it's the wet season for us, you can have a week or two of uh, sunny weather. And then you know that the subtropical uh, trees like avocado, they keep producing, they keep working, they need to be fed. And if you are using fertigation, many times you're having really difficulties to apply nutrient at that, at that time. Imagine again, you have a wet soil and uh, you have uh, nitrogen deficiencies. What can you do? The only thing you can do is apply technical irrigation. Now, technical irrigation is really inefficient. And this is where we're coming with this very good solution for avocado trees. Um, so here we have uh, the, the formula was 12 months, 20 to 25 with micronutrients, 100% coated uh, because uh, it's very safe then to use. And basically what you can see this uh, farmer doing is applying, uh, you can see some granules here and we apply it normally at the side, both sides of the trunk under the drip irrigation. Results. So unfortunately we have only two years of results. We failed to, get to, to continue this uh, trial because of a few technical reasons. But what we can see here is that on the first year from the us variety, we had a little bit uh, lower result than the farmer practice. But look at the second year. The second year we gained almost double the yield from the farmer practice. Again, unfortunately, we did not uh, manage to uh, follow this, uh, this trial, but okay, if we, if we make some kind of uh, average uh, situation, which I think it's not correct, but never mind, <laughs> we still have uh, very nice uh, results. Now, for Ettinger uh, variety, this is basically the, the pollenizing uh, uh, coupling, couple of. Uh, pair of, uh, of us in Israel been using uh, Ettinger. We also had a very nice result in the second year already. Okay, so this is uh, avocado. We have wonderful solution. Cotton and cotton mix for arable crops. This is the next segment. Cotton basically is uh, as just like uh, it sound, coated nitrogen. Coated nitrogen, 100%, two to four months. This is the product and cotton mix is basically blends that we do uh, with the commodity granular fertilizer. And uh, then only the nitrogen is, uh, is coated. Okay, so we're talking about two and four months. Um, really uh, recommended for, uh, for extensive crops such as wheat, corn, sugar beet, sunflower and cotton. This is what we also we again experience globally. And this is a good, uh, a good place to talk about nitrogen in the soil. So with conventional nitrogen fertilizer, what we have, uh, depending on the, on the application uh, uh, method, by the way, but what we see is some volatilization of ammonia. Now, ammonia or nitrogen gases are, by the way, 300 times more effective as greenhouse gases than carbon dioxide. So this is not a small thing. This is important thing. And the other important thing is the contamination that can cause by, by nitrate uh, leaching to the groundwater. So we have these losses, and because of these losses, we, have, we will see repeated application 
Now, with multi-cut agri, or with the cotton mix, I'm sorry, now we're talking about cotton mix, but it's the same concept. We have it in the root zone, and then we do not have the, these losses for volatilization or for uh, leaching to, go, to, to groundwater. Very safe, very efficient to use. And I will demonstrate on this case study here from uh, Bulgari. The farming practice uses uh, urea and ammonium nitrate uh, later. Um, in total, one other, okay, so in total, th these are the results. 50% less nitrogen, okay, you can see it here. 11% more in yield, clear, right? 15% higher income, also makes sense. But if now we will take this number of uh, net income and divide it by the nitrogen units, you will see 240% better nutrient use efficiency. So it, we can say, one can uh, argue that uh, all what we applied was taken by the plant, simple as that. We have uh, many results, I would not uh, show everything now, but uh, to summarize, we've seen uh, in, in rice, for example, 20% uh, less nitrogen, 11% in grain, in wheat, you've seen it now, in, uh, and I'm sorry, in corn, you've seen it now, in wheat, we have also good results and so on, single application, less nitrogen, and we see higher yield. Okay, this is the story with cotton mix. Cotton dual is something that I would like to go back to uh, talking about the, <clears throat> the inhibitors. Cotton dual is a product we have available in France at the moment. Um, this is a product that cover both technologies of CRF, of, uh, cotton, of uh, multi-core technology, it's cotton, with, with inhibitors. Um, we do it because there are some places that uh, there's a, a regulation demand for application of inhibitors. So, as long as it's part of the solution, we, we appreciate, we know that it's working. As we said before, as I showed on the result before on the, on the potato, it's not really full solution. This is the full solution, okay, of uh, combina combination with CRF. multi turf. Uh, this is a segment that I would, I would uh, um, quickly uh, cover. We have, um, normally it's uh, partly coated the N, sometimes uh, P, but mostly uh, potassium. Longevity is two to four months. And this is the granule side, slightly uh, smaller because it's uh, adapting to the, to, the, to the grass. Now we have also the minis from uh, this range of uh, 8.7 to uh, two, uh, very small. Now the challenge of, of uh, turf is completely different than everything we've seen before. We're not talking about uh, heights. We're not talking about, uh, about yield not about trunk side, not about, uh, you know, these kind of things. What we don't want to do with the turf is to keep turf green, strong, healthy all year round. This is the, this is the, the challenge, okay? But we have also a solution for that challenge. We have the multi turf or multi-green for professional, domestic. Um, the idea is to take care of the changing uh, nutritional needs for the turf plant. And by the way, those of you who do not know it, this is a very highly professional um, segment, and it's uh, it's not simple to uh, to be part of it. But we are uh, very proud to be part of it in the global, in Europe and in the States. Um, <clears throat> okay, I mentioned before the nitrogen potassium nitrate, and uh, we are supporting seasonal growth uh, process. Yes, we have a, a variety of solutions for that. To conclude. Controlled race fertilizer offer um, efficient nutrition for various segments. This is the main uh, point. The product selection should be considered growth parameter. Uh, we're talking also, uh, I, I remind you about the temperature, uh, the soil temperature expected, the participation, the soil type. We have a lot of consideration to make. At the bottom line, CRF improve nutrient use efficiency. And I say CRF, but I mean really multi technology because everything I showed you on multi technology of the cotton mix, of the multi agri, of the multi is our, our experience using multi technology. Uh, I, I, I do not recommend to use competing product just as the same, okay? It might work, it might not work. This is uh, the, the professional uh, experience that we gain with multi technology. 
we have a very wide range of multi-cut products that uh, give solution to any crop and uh, maybe this uh, would be a good slide to, to finish. Uh, this is uh, the list of uh, products that we can uh, have in, in our blends to, to blend. So this is the uncoated uh, available uh, product uh, in the greens. And then we have, for instance, the MAP, we can have it in the blends as uncoated, as coated for two months, for four months, and for eight months. So this is the list. Obviously, the Ural granular is having the full range. The other are uh, partly. But uh, this is uh, very important for me to, to share with you. Uh, and this, I think, uh, really demonstrate what we can do and what solution uh, we can get out of uh, multi technology for different crops and different segments. This is all for today. Thank you very much. And I will be very happy to answer any questions. Okay, thank you for the very professional uh, presentation. Uh, we have a few questions regarding a uh, plan for specific uh, crops, uh, plan, nutrition plan for specific crops. <coughs> so uh, I think they asking if there is a, a, a option to for a few formulas. How if there is few formulas for different crops, different uh, times? Yeah, for sure. Who's asking, by the way, from where? India. Yeah, we do, we have a list. Um, in this presentation, we chose not to uh, bring the list of uh, formulas because it, 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 as is, it was a long uh, presentation and we did not want to, um, to bring uh, too, much, uh, in, too much information. So I will be glad to answer this also by email, uh, Josh. Okay. For sure, we have a recommendation for different crops, for sure. And uh, from these uh, questions, uh, if it's possible to combine with other fertilizer, if the formula is not uh, exactly what they need, if they want to, to add other uh, regular um, fertilizer to the formula. Yeah, normally we're talking about the uh, granular fertilizer to, to mix with. Uh, it's important. We have some, uh, uh, let's say, a guideline as to what can be used. Uh, this, we need a strong uh, granules. We need uh, something that will not uh, break and uh, become into dust. This will be also uh, can, be, can cause uh, some um, technical issue, but also uh, I would say even health issue. It's, so, uh, it's something that's important for us. But basically, yes, we can recommend on this kind of combination. Uh, this is the way to bring the cost uh, down to, to what farmer can pay, basically. And uh, specific for one granular uh, fertilizer, if you are using a, a DAP, coating DAP, this is a question from France. Yeah, we have this available uh, product in, uh, in France, uh, actually. So it's good, it's good that it's coming from France. We have it uh, available in France, yeah. And regarding uh, boron, if uh, they if I, uh, they need a very low uh, rate, if if it's possible to use it for a very low rate of uh, boron application. Yes, basically the, the the technology is there. We like to use the long one. We have uh, short boron or long boron. I would say that the long boron is eight to twelve months release. It's it's a range but it's very safe to use. Um, and if you apply it in a, in a small percentage on the blend, it's even safer. Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, the time is uh, up. So uh, thank you for everybody and uh, hope to see you again in the next webinar. Bye-bye.